Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 90. We were working on the defensive front. And uh, <clears throat> I kind of glossed over this front, but there is actually a move here. Uh, I glossed over it because uh, this unit and this unit are badly supplied and so is this one and so is this one. Um, but this unit is well supplied, as is uh, this unit. And these two tanks are... <clears throat> now, interestingly, these two tanks have got plus 100 action points for sitting still. <clears throat> now, these action points, they only work on the first tile. And what this has done is it's actually proven to me that the game doesn't un doesn't take into account the the bonus AP. <clears throat> because to go here, it actually wants me to go all the way around. Um, which means that you would use only 12 movement points to move here. But I can actually move either here or here for free. Okay, when it says it costs 85, it means... <clears throat> it actually means 115. <laughs> or 185. It feels like that can't be right, because moving here should, should not cost 112. Is the terrain really that bad? Either way, there is a small opportunity here to both hit the enemy and form a nice little circle. Uh, four for nine plus another 13, that's not bad. I can just leave my backstop unit here. As this this has now moved forward and this it, you can't get up here so I no longer require a backstop here because I'm actually out on the map right <clears throat> let's finish chipping away at the enemy and then uh, we'll end the turn and see what happens see if the enemy breaks through in the bottom Uh, that is one of our primary concerns. Okay, that's too much artillery. That's not in range. Damn, that was actually a lot of damage. This unit might be vulnerable to being taken out now. Yep. Too much damage from the artillery. Caused it to just shatter. Good. There's another unit. That looks like it's asking for uh, some of that sweet artillery rain. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy, they just got annihilated. Man, the condition of that unit must have been awful. Look at this, there's nothing left on this front. I've almost completely melted away. Mm. 
So, Team Pink is actually <clears throat> a powerful team that I brought here to help out. Because there was uh, a lot of enemies before. <clears throat> There's basically nothing left of the enemy now. I could... I could start looking at a flank. If I wanted to. Okay, we've got a giant lump of units here. Minus 60 because of the city tile. It's probably not the best place to attack. What about... Is this uh, urban... Urban light snow. That's light urban. Seems like the weakest point. Okay, this has already been fired out, it looks like. <clears throat> A sixty per cent reduction. Okay. One guy. One, two, three, four, five. I lost six guys. One, two, three, four. Uh, they lost like seven plus a load of trucks. So. <clears throat> it went in my favor, but it was not, like, ideal. It's out of range. Make it rain! Alright, there goes half a squad. There goes most of the rest of it. Actually, a little bit of an exchange, really. It's a mortar team. I don't know why my clicks have gotten really sensitive. Like, I seem to be double clicking a lot. moved these last time. That's the engineers that are repairing the bridge if necessary. Mm. 
this artillery piece is going to stay behind. So let's change its HQ <clears throat> to one that uh, is going to also stay behind. Who is your HQ? Okay, right, it's maroon. I feel like the enemy here has been sufficiently weakened that uh, a breach now is not likely. <coughs> okay, I think that's it for this turn. I think we've been over everything. I guess the only thing left to consider is whether I want to start making security teams. Which I could do. Let's make one security team. So a security team is usually 500 of these dudes. And like 5 of these. Nope, not that one. Oh, I already got rid of them, didn't I? I already took the anti-tank out. No, there they are. Basically a... Uh, a blocker unit. I'll start labelling these. Blocker A, and then like... Blocker A, Blocker B, Blocker C, and so on. I'll change its HQ next turn. Can't change its HQ on the same turn as you created it. I'll use these to, uh, to block the road. What I kind of want to do, actually, is get this unit <clears throat> onto this road so that it can just start creating units to block the area right let's see if we hold <clears throat> if I if they're gonna break through this would be the time it's daytime I think their units are uh, um, a lot of the, a lot of their units in that bottom corner are only going to get worse. Because they're so poorly supplied. <clears throat> and the AI does not um The AI does not merge units together to protect their status. Actually, airstriked <clears throat> Team Violet there, which is interesting. What are these doing here? What? <clears throat> Why would you go into that swamp? 
You can't supply units there. The terrain is so horrible that you're not going to be able to just push through. like shuffling the deck chairs on the Titanic here. <clears throat> Lots of units just being moved around, not really doing anything. Looks like a guy is testing, they're testing the wall. So far, so good. I haven't seen any serious damage. A few successful airstrikes, a few somewhat, you know, damaging artillery strikes, but nothing you wouldn't expect. Okay, just more light, you know, <clears throat> more light artillery fire. <clears throat> I'm gonna lose between like 40 on a good turn for the enemy. We probably expect to lose between like 40 and 80 units to artillery fire and airstrikes. This has actually been pretty mild. Although I have destroyed so much enemy artillery. Because they kept on. The AI keeps on putting it on the front line where I can just bash it. And not the short range stuff that is supposed to be on the front line. Actual, you know, long range artillery has ended up. You know, howitzers and uh, goliaths and stuff have ended up on the front line and I've just destroyed them. Oof. That hurt. They broke through exactly where I thought they were going to break through. Here. Oh, they didn't break that, though. Hey man, when you can teleport twenty to thirty thousand units in out of nowhere, it's it's easy to do a push. <laughs> Okay. 
let's have a look at the situation. Okay, the unit was badly damaged. And this one held okay. Wow, this is a lot of enemies. They must have summoned in even more cards. Those are badly positioned, though. Okay, it's afternoon. And the supply situation down here must be appalling. I guess they moved units here to re-establish that part. That is a weak part of the wall. Let's go ahead and turn march mode off for this. Let's move it here. Let's assign it to this. Okay, just push them away. Evidently I need a bit more power here. And make it rain all over this guy and then set the HQ for this to be this as I do need some artillery on this wall let's go to back to move mode for this I think I need this here as anti-tank. You better stop cutting corners. Right. of you that can reach. That was not that impactful. Okay, that was some pretty serious damage.
I think it hurts. Yeah, I have a really good position here. Four, five, six. Six for so much more than six. Okay. Man, there are so many scary units here. Just the sheer quantity of enemies as well. Unfortunately, this is the roadblock. This is the road here. I could move this back here to defend, but then I'm giving up my roadblock. Oh, an emergency unit. That would be useful. Maybe there is hope. Okay. Reinforcements are on route. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to put this in march mode. not enough for it to move more, but it will stack AP for the next turn. So if I say 11, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 turns until the reinforcements get there. I can't break apart this wall because otherwise these guys are just going to mob through here. At least it's evening, so their attack power will drop. This sec this position here is actually on a little hill. So I guess the real issue now is them cutting here. Let's move the HQ out of the way.
sure. You know what? If you've got a shot, take it. Why not? These units aren't doing anything else. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Chip away 15 health. That feels reasonable. got a shot why not take it I mean there's, there's no other enemies here so you might as well this blob is definitely weakening supply wise ah I have another I have another wagon Go to transport mode. Attach. Thank you. Attach. Thank you. Can't move forward because of the traffic. Could it attach another one? No, that's it. Two is the most attached manpower is maxed out. Probably could have done this a little bit more cleanly, but whatever. Mm, the problem with the major road is it's kind of wonky. Whereas the bottom road is kind of direct. But I may have to split them up for reasons of traffic anyway. We'll move them day and night. That's that's the best we can do. Is to just move them day and night until they're in position. <clears throat> they must have played extra units. Um, extra units here, then extra units again, and again. If they all dogpile through here, and leave this wall behind, I might be able to just seal them in and completely starve them. It seems like uh, there are some enemy units around here now as well, so the idea of sending an engineer out just to circle around behind is looking less and less like a good idea. Hey. This position is up 
here on the hill. That was a little bit risky, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> there's not much I can do about this down here. For now. My only true response is to mobilize the wall. But this this is a truly enormous amount of units. It must have summoned in like three complete division cards. Including, you know, massive armor. So, there isn't much I can do. I should have blown the bridge. That might have slowed them down a bit, but then again, they got they got boatloads of engineers down there, so I doubt it would have actually stopped them for even a second. Okay. The reinforcements are enough, but will they get there in time to save my depot? Although the depot is draining fast, so. Let's go ahead and clean this. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to just go for it. Oh, that was a ranged attack, not a regular attack. That was kind of useless. Okay, now I see what it is. It's infantry. Send in the peasants. Okay, looks clear. Uh, any of the artillery lurking around here has a nice clean shot. Okay, not bad. Another one cleaned away. Since the tanks can get there fast. That doesn't look like the scariest blockade in the world. to send this unit. Which way would be the quickest way? The 
it's mechanized, so I guess this way would be the quickest way. North, boys. Looks like the AI has given up on attacking this position. That doesn't mean that I want to leave it undefended, though. Okay, I'm going to have to leave some units behind, obviously, to just defend. Two SS, two SS, two SS. They all belong to the same HQ. Of course, there's a lot of high-grade units in that HQ, so I don't want to leave it behind if I can at all help it. Okay, that's it for now. I need to free up... Well, I've got tons of units here, including security teams. Um, I need to as swiftly as possible destroy this pocket of weakened troops and free up this massive blob to come across and start reinforcing this line so that the wall grabbing can continue. here and cut up. I was very happy with my position up until the AI just dropped a billion cards down here and just spawned a ton of units on the southern border. In a way it's very annoying. I know I had a couple of cards that did the same thing but it's a bit unrealistic or, or whatever you want to call it to just drop such an enormous amount of troops like on these tiles out of nowhere and it seems like I can't get away with playing any any strategy game these days that doesn't have teleporters 
So, while it's going to uh, take time for my troops to get into position, Oh well, whatever. Whatever, we'll deal with it. The supply situation is still terrible for them. It's better now that they've secured this road, but uh, it's still bad. I don't know if I should consider sacrificing this unit. to just hamper their supply. Well, it's afternoon, it'll soon be night. And they won't be able to do anything during the night. They should struggle. I feel like they should struggle to break this unit at night. Or in the afternoon. Unfortunately, the tank unit is ultra scary, but it's also badly supplied. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.